What up, guys? Here we are back at it. I have no idea what video this is. Um, I barely remembered what I'm supposed to be doing because it's been a week since I played and it's hard to keep track of things. Um, we are doing that tower. I don't know where my ship is. Where's my ship? Why? What? <laughs> Why don't I have a ship? When I cast return, my ship's supposed to go... Okay, there's my ship. So where the heck was it? I would not have walked here. I tell you that much. Okay, so I was like doing like a tower. Doing a tower adventure. Yeah, no, we're doing repel because nobody got time for all those attacks. I was reviewing the previous video trying to figure out where I was and what I was supposed to be doing. And like jumping around different spots in the video just to get an idea. And every place I jumped to was a battle. And I'm like, Oh, that's right. That's that's what the experience was like. Battle, 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 battle. So, I've complained enough about that, but I do think that this game could have benefited from a better random encounter protocol. I am so confused, though. Like... Why did I go here? I wonder if I if I forgot to save the game. I'm so confused. Like I should have saved the game to reset my return spot, but maybe I forgot to. Probably what happened. I just hope that I am looking in the right area. No, I'm not doing even a single more, one more attack. I can't talk. I'm only doing one more encounter and then I have to because I want to find the stupid island. Okay, why can I not find it? Where are you, island? I thought you were in sight of this coastline and what? Gargoyle. This thing thinks it's so tough that it doesn't Bruh, I can one shot you. Okay. Where's the island? Wait, what? Why would smokes be appearing? Does it, I didn't think this spell wore off. Smokes. Y'all can't even hurt me. This island, yeah? No. Next island? Yeah, why would smokes be getting through? That makes no sense. Also, where the heck am I? Oh, 
Oh, I'm so lost. I mean, the gargoyles kind of make sense because I guess they're tough. Yeah, like he actually does damage. Okay. I am totally freaking lost. I might need to go ahead and put a little edit here and figure out where the heck I am. Because I just don't want all oh, these random encounters. You know what this place is? I'm assuming it's a... Wait, what? Who are you? No. Once thou hast the moon fragment, thou may enter the island cave where the eye of Malroth is kept in darkness. Okay. I don't know who you are, but uh, thanks. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bump and just... I, I'm so lost. I need to figure out where the heck that tower is that I was exploring. So, um, see you in a second. Okay. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a while. I went the totally wrong direction. The tower I was looking for is right to the left of this, which is why I went to this town to rest in the first place. It's right down here. And remember, I don't even... I don't even know what I'm looking for in this tower, to be honest. I don't remember anything. Let's see, actually, I actually do remember you gotta go around when Gorgon appeared. That's right, the Gorgons have, like, super high defense. Okay, so, like, you go around the bottom. I think we'll just parry. That's right, I don't have a new wizard's ring yet because I didn't take the time to get a new one. Alright, so you one shot at a mummy, dude. Good job. Alright. I kind of remember going around the outside. One thing I sort of stumbled across is, I believe, I think it's the shield that Bikram is wearing right now. Let's try it out. Because I gave him the shield of strength. So if I use it in combat, let's see what happens. Yeah. So actually, it would be really nice to go get more of those shields and give them to the other two characters so they can heal themselves in combat. Especially with how often Varya doesn't do anything. Just parries. I 
Okay. Now this is the hard part, is getting through here. Because I got caught just on the second floor basically forever. Yeah, this ouch. This game seems to be largely about like unfair enemies, but then like giving you tons of like good stuff. Like I ain't gonna complain about Pykrong being able to heal himself whenever he feels like it. And then Varya has armor that helps her like dodge all the time. And then I guess I'm supposed to be like her end game armor is way better. And then um yeah, I cannot think this morning. It gives her resistance to like all the different attack magics, I think. Or possibly fire breath and stuff, so So it gives you lots of good stuff, like lots of good equipment in this game. Except for Artho. He never gets anything good. Um, but like the enemies also just have lots of nasty stuff to throw at us. I mean, I could top them off. Pretty sure Gorgon doesn't actually do any damage. <laughs> but it's kind of pointless topping them off anyway. Okay. Yeah, I don't like these guys. Go ahead and do Firebane and Explode at. Boom. For how good Explode at is. If I remember right, all those guys can do AoE damage. Well, that was pointless. Forgot how much exploit that cost. Is that eight magic points? A lot. So I probably shouldn't use it too much. Okay. So, oh man, this is another maze. And I don't even know what I'm looking for. That's the other thing that's problematic about this place. It's like, is there a crest here? Um. I did 
think I read where the key, the gold key was, at least, so. Alright, so what is this? And do I have item space for it? Just use the cherry water. Are you freaking kidding me? Apparently I need to sell some things, Copper Sword. Um, whatever that Gremlin's Tail thing is, it's a cursed item. So I'll just get rid of that thing. What a pointless section that was. Let's see, bike ROM's a little bit low, so let's go ahead and take advantage of the shield. Yeah, so basically, it's going to be like totally efficient. Even Artho would be parrying most turns because he's not really got the damage output to be worth it. All right, um, so nothing. Um, so these ones. Might as well just run. It's just going to be a really long battle. Hey, money. I don't understand that. There's a treasure chest. It literally has less gold than some of these enemies are dropping. So what's the point? It's just running. It can't even hurt me anyway. Oh, let's see. Come on. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything anyway. It's funny they check for a random counter after that. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on here. Um, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I'm gonna have Arthur do Firebane. Don't know if it's a good idea or not. Hoping it would hit before Bicrom went because he could have finished off the undead, but whatever. Wish I had an extra shield now, because sorry, I could use that. So yeah, the shield cast heal more on the person holding it, and heal more does more in battle than... Are you kidding me? 
you have to have the right key. Nah. Nah. It's got to be something else. Oh, silver key worked. Okay, whatever. Now what? Okay. Where do I go now? Magic ants, come on. Not even worth looking at. Just step on them. Okay. Ugh. Controls can get so stiff sometimes. Yeah, no. Right in your face. Let's see. <sighs> I'm out of time pretty soon here. So hopefully this will be done soon. Okay. Spears. I'm confusing myself. This is not something I've done before. Here we go. So I saw a gremlin and he just went into that room. Thou need not speak, for I know thy mind well. Come, follow me. I will guide thee to the place where thou shalt find the crest. Don't fall off, huh? Gosh. Very real danger with controls this stiff. I'm just grateful for the lack of random encounters, my dude. Open now the treasure chest. But it was empty. Ha ha! Into my trap thou hast stepped. It shall be thy last. Four gremlins appeared. Um, these guys are not scary, though. How are you still alive? Must have been missed by all the spells. Boom. The wing of the wyvern. Ugh. Thou hast found the star's crest. Okay. I think that's the only reason I was here. So I'm going to go step off the side of the tower and... And you know what? Well, a few times I'm like, mm, I might want to actually cheat here, because what if there's something I walked past that was more important? So, wait, what? Did Bikram already go? Yeah, I'm actually going to pause for a moment and make sure there's nothing else in this tower so I don't waste any more time. All right, just wanted to pop back on and say, yep, I've 
there's nothing else in this tower, so we're going to go ahead and step off. And then, uh, yeah, I'm kind of sort of almost out of time here, but I am going to go look for the golden key. Um, unfortunately, I have no idea where to look, but fortunately, I can just spam the repel spell and hopefully we'll find it. And then um, the golden key will open up a whole lot more stuff for us here. Um, let's see here. The crest. So we have the star and the moon crest. Oh, I also failed to get the echoing flute. So, Leonport. Leonport. <laughs> um. Somewhere near here is the shipwreck that holds what we need for the echoing flute. The question is, what direction is it? And I believe the answer is up north of it. Could be wrong. So I guess that's two things that I'm looking for, is a town with the golden key and wherever the shipwreck, hap shipwreck happened. Okay, this is the west side of the Dragon Horn. Just keep spamming Repel, because I do not want to be fighting monsters for hours. Yeah, as far as I know, I'm high enough level to get towards the, what do they call the road to Roan, um, something like that. It's the area where you get your butt absolutely kicked, but um, I think I'm actually high enough level to go fight there. Okay. Okay, what is this? Keep forgetting who has what spell. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, you're a gargoyle. Let's just go away. Not even tough. Alright, I'm just lost. <laughs> I'm just going to sail in a straight line now, because... So I don't know what it is about this game, if I just didn't have the patience or what, but like... This is the part of the game that really got me, because it's like, okay, where? Where do I go? Where do I go? I'm just stuck out in the sea, getting random encounter after random encounter. And, uh... I actually do think that... W it would have benefited a lot from a different system because uh, Ultima Exodus, is a, which is a game I need to play at some point, they'd get the ship and I'd wander around. I would actually sit there and map out the entire world. Like I would, weird little island. I would actually like get out paper and like draw it and like color in all the different terrain features and everything. And tape it together, make a poster out of it, and then put it up on the wall. Like, that's how much I was into Ultima. Um, but Ultima Exodus, the uh, Nintendo version at least, there was an item that if you used it, it would show you the nearby map. And so I would use that to draw it. Hmm. Yeah. Now that I think about it a little bit, if this game had a better random encounter system and something that that helped you see the map, I think that would be the two things that would make this game just fine. It would be a good game. 
Um, because those are my two biggest complaints for for the most part. Now, to be fair, when they released this game in the U.S., at least, they packaged it with a strategy guide. And I think they just didn't trust the U.S. audience to get through it without help. Which is fair, because I was into these kinds of games and I could not get through the game at the time. But yeah, even just a map would have helped a lot. And to be fair to the random encounter piece that I was complaining about, oh, that's the world tree. So if you ever need a leaf of the world tree, that's where you go to pick that up. So... All right, what's this monolith? I'm actually going to use this teleporter because I think somebody told me that the fire monolith, uh, the fire monolith had the sun crest. And I do know what the fire monolith looks like. I think the guy there told me it was a fire monolith. I don't think it's this one, though. One of them. Nope. So, I got the right one? Huh. Weird. I thought, thought they were all kind of connected, but apparently not. Okay. Just curious what's down here. Okay. Where is this? This looks like the area near Midden Hall. So if I go to Midden Hall and straight up, we find the area where the world tree is. What I really want to find is that town that has the golden key. Yeah, if I can't find this soon, I'm just gonna have to pull out a map. I've just been trying to play this game with the minimal amount of, you know, cheating as possible. Oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked by low-level creatures. You guys think you're all that? Ugh. Ooh. These guys look like fun. Fire beam, explode it. But no help came. What do you mean you dodged? You can't dodge. Yeah. I am totally running out of time here, so... Might have to come back with a map next time, because I am lost, lost, lost. What is this area? No idea. <sighs> yeah, this world is huge. Huge and confusing. 
So yeah, I'm... Gonna have to come back with the map, I think. And like random little landmarks like this, like just weird little island here. I think this is the Rhone area. No, this is, yeah, this continent is kind of like the end. Am I thinking about the wrong one again? <laughs> I think this is it. And then what is this? This is back to the dragon horn. Yeah, so that's the dragon horn. So wherever the shipwreck was, I always had the impression it was close to Leonport, but I'm failing to find it. Up here. It's pretty crazy, like, because I missed the town where the golden key is. I've been stalled out on a lot of stuff. The golden key is super important. Oh my gosh, I'm back to this island. Okay, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Next time I'm looking at a map because I just want to get through this and I'm tired of wandering. So this would be... This would be where I would get stuck when I was younger. And this would be why um, Dragon Warrior 2 is not one of my favorite games. Um, I don't know what they did differently in Dragon Warrior 3, but even though the world was big i always seem to know more or less where to go like the the clues i picked up were pretty good or something i don't know so anyway that's it for today next time i'm going to look at a map and find the things i need to find and once all that's in place i probably will get through everything really quickly because it's not once you know where stuff is this part of the game can be fast especially at my level like my characters are strong they're strong enough to handle all this stuff so anyway, that's it for now. See you next time.